Let's just talk about the immediate consequences of a government shutdown. Uh, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel is currently in South Korea, and he's saying the Pentagon and administration lawyers are working to try and increase the amount of DOD civilians um, who are exempt from furloughs. And of course, is also saying that the shutdown's effect will raise concerns about whether the country's allies can actually depend on the United States. Marcus, what can you tell us about exactly how many DOD personnel are furloughed, who is, who isn't? Uh, we went through a little bit of a chart yesterday on HuffPost Live and noticed that, you know, people like military recruiters apparently um, are still working. They are, uh, actually. So we're, right now we're trying to find out how many civilian employees will continue to work. Right now it's about 400,000 is the estimate. There are about 800,000 civilians within uh, DOD. Um, right now they're, they're, they have shown up for work this morning. Uh, some of them, as in, you know, one instance for me, I got an email from a public affairs officer telling me I have an interview view that was scheduled for tomorrow. It took about four months to set up that interview and it's been pushed off. So because she will be one of the non-exempt employees. They're going through right now, they're going to look at who exactly will be exempt, who won't be exempt. And in the next few days, I think we'll find out a little bit more of exactly who will be working, who won't. Um, my, you know, my question always surrounding one of these things is we've known that there is a deadline. We've known that if Congress doesn't get their act together, that the government is going to shut down on this date. So how are they still working it out now? Don't you have contingency plans? Well, they, they do have they do have contingency plans. Well, for, for first off, for starters, the military, the uniform military will continue to show up for work. And as um, a lot of those passed yesterday, they will continue to get paid throughout this. They did have a little bit of a, a planning in advance. They had memo guidance that went out to talk about specific areas for instance anybody who's a civilian who's supporting the war in afghanistan they will continue to work uh people who are you know, purchasing uh supplies and stuff like that they will continue to work but there are other areas where and for instance maybe acquisition programs um that won't that won't be working and that'll in turn slow down uh weapons purchases and other activities and we can't forget that we still have a war that is ongoing in Afghanistan. And so, you know, if any troops are actually killed in action after October 1st, then death benefits will not be paid to their beneficiaries until a deal is reached. Uh, you know, so just one more thing to, to remind you of.